Tonight, the state of Texas executed Billy Wayne Coble by lethal injection, but not before some of his own family members were thrown out and arrested for causing a scene. Yeah, Channel 6's Jasmine Caldwell witnessed Coble's execution and is live from the prison in Huntsville for us tonight with more on why Coble's son had to be escorted out of the viewing area. Go ahead, Jasmine. Yeah, well, Chris and Leslie, I was in the room um, tonight when Billy Wayne Coble's son began to have an outburst. Now, as soon as his father closed his eyes, that's when he started to bang on the glass. Um, us reporters were pushed. Um, some of us were kicked um, as the guards had to drag him out of the room. Just as Billy Wayne Coble whispered the words, take care to his family, his son Gordon lost control once his father closed his eyes for the last time. The uh, son, Gordon Coble, kind of approached the glass, put his hands on the bars of the glass, and then eventually ended up hitting the glass with two arms and was taken from behind, removed from the room by the two Office of Inspector General officers who were also in the room. Coble spent the last 30 years of his life on death row in Huntsville for the slayings of the parents of his estranged wife and her brother, Waco Police Sergeant Bobby Vicka. The former electrician was strapped to a gurney as the lethal solution began flowing in both arms. At 624, Coble was pronounced dead as the Vicka family watched from the other side of the two-way glass. While we grieve the amazing lives that were lost too soon, we find joy in the blessings and love we have in our family. It is well with our soul. As Coble's face began to turn blue, his remaining friends who were in the witness room began to pray. Waco police were there in honor of their fallen officer. Sergeant Vicka was, a, was an excellent officer and was well liked by all. And to this day, his memory lives with those of us who served with him. Billy Wayne Coble's body will leave the prison and head to a funeral home until his son is able to bail out of jail and sign for the body. Now, I can tell you this whole ordeal was pretty frightening. Just to kind of give you guys an idea, this room was just a like a six by 12 foot room. Um, and as I said before, um, Gordon went out kicking and screaming, um, yelling to the guards that they, they were hurting him. Um, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice said something like this um, has never happened um, before. Reporting live in Huntsville, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News.